Hi guys and welcome to Sarcastic Fish. So today I am talking about something kind of more topical. In I believe the US and the UK, June is Gay or LGBT Pride Month. For those of you who don't know, because I don't think on my channel I've ever like formally addressed it, I identify as bi, which means that I am both romantically and sexually attracted to both men and women. But for this video, because there's so, so much that I could talk about, I'm gonna keep this very, very sort of narrow to the fact of why I never like came out. I follow a lot of LGTB YouTubers and almost all of them have some form of coming out story on their channel. I don't have one at all and it's it's actually something I'm really proud of. I think the only thing is like me sort of offhandedly like referencing it being like it, oh it's, it's it's there. I've been asking around my friends and people I know being like do you remember when I told you and they're all like no. Like I don't remember like telling people because it's the kind of thing that I've always, I've said it kind of like in like, I've kind of like dropped it in in very casual conversation. Almost every single time people are just kind of like meh and kind of moved on. And sometimes I've had people go, oh me too. And I'm like, brilliant. Especially because if you do have that kind of attitude, people are also then like, oh, this isn't a thing. Cause I've always had like a really casual approach to like all of the LGBT stuff because I'm like, you do you, do what makes you happy. I always like felt a very in a very like safe space in terms of that like, nobody cares. So I've had like an overwhelmingly positive experience with just being like, hey, I kind of like also like women, you know, girls are like really hot. <laughs> and in part of that, especially, and it was kind of important to me when I was younger, that's one of the reasons I never on YouTube was like, had a sit down video of you guys and was like, guys, for something I've been hiding from you, for something I need to be honest about. It's like, because I've never hidden it from anyone. I've never hidden it from anyone and I've never felt like it's something I had to deny myself purely because for a very long time, all of those feelings were there and I like acted the same way as I do now. Just when I was younger, I had no form of label for it. And because I had no form of label for it, I didn't need to like hide anything of myself. Like the first time I realized you could, there was such thing as being bi, was through Tumblr because like I read it and I was like what's that and I googled it and then I was like reading about it being like oh 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 that's oh that's like me oh I like all of that's exactly like how I am because I think when you're younger you think that you're either, like you're either straight or you're gay like and I kind of knew that I really liked boys so then how could I possibly be a lesbian if I liked boys too but that, that's a, you can like both it was a great day. Which is also mainly one of my motivations for making this is for is very, very little like bi visibility. I feel like it's something people like sweep under the rug being like, oh no, it's a, it's, it's a phase. Oh no, you're, you're just, you're just looking around. Oh, you're not bi, you're actually a lesbian, but you're in denial about it. So I kind of thought being like, hey, we exist, we're a thing. I never had any pressure put on me in any way that made me feel like I had to suddenly tell everybody. Because I've never had like a proper girlfriend and I've almost always had boyfriends. I think I started figuring this out about myself while I was in a relationship, in my first relationship. So was there like any point in me having a big coming out thing while I was like dating a, like dating a guy? I also didn't do it I guess because if it's this big announcement it lets other people insignificant people who don't matter to you feel like then maybe it's okay for them to make comments at you. I believe if I had done this when I was definitely, not in my last school, but the school I was for my GCSEs and stuff, I believe if I'd done it then, I would have had like a negative reaction from some people purely because they didn't like me, so they, any opportunity to be horrible to me, they take. So I think certainly for my mental health, <laughs> It was better. But I just mentioned it offhandedly to people and then like it shows that you, it doesn't like it's not a big thing to you. It's like if you make it a big thing, people feel like a big reaction is like what's supposed to happen. This may sound confusing so hear me out. I feel like if you do make a big thing about coming out and bear in mind, believe me, I do understand that being like me, I have certain privileges and the fact that I've always had a boyfriend, I've never had my like my friend's family, everyone I know is very very open-minded and like they don't really give a shit. I've always been in a safe space, so I've like never, like I'm aware of my privileges and that some people do not have that. And like, they almost know that if they come out, they're gonna have a very negative reaction. And I, I feel for those people, I really do. But in my case, that just didn't happen. That's why I feel like if you have a big sort of coming out thing, people have a reaction that big. Even if it is a positive reaction, it's, 
almost a positive reaction is bad in terms of people going, oh, we're here for you, we'll support you, we'll do everything for you, oh, I, lo I love gay people, give us like, it's like kind of like, it's like, stop. Reacting like that, it, it almost makes so clear the negative reaction you can get, or that people feel like it's so necessary to act like that because those negative things do happen. Which obviously I understand, but I was talking to one of my friends, he's gay, this is a while ago now, and we were kind of discussing this, and it was like, th our goal, or like the thing we wanted most, was that when we told people that they were indifferent, that they didn't care, be because it shouldn't matter. Do you understand what my train of thought is here? It's that it shouldn't provoke any kind of reaction because it, it just shouldn't matter. It shouldn't warrant other people's like emotional investment into it because it's about you, quite something personal, and also like, how do I say this without getting in trouble? It's not that big of a deal. In some parts of the world, that's not the case. In some communities, that's not the case, which is why you do need this positive community, and it is a very, very good thing, hence why I'm making this video. Um, but also, like, you kind of just don't want people to give a shit, and to be honest, like, my friends, <laughs> my friends couldn't fucking care less. Like, they're all like, great, what are we gonna get eat now? I'm like, okay, lovely. And also because I always bad on by that because nobody gave a flying fuck like why should I? What you want in life is intelligent friends who are also very lazy because like they don't have the energy to fucking care The people who care are the people who don't matter in terms of family I've never felt the need to like sit my parents down and be like I like girls too. I make a lot of comments that like imply the fact that I'm sexually attracted to women like, I make a lot of those comments around my parents, and I have done in the past. If this were to shock them, that would shock me. This kind of le leads into my, like, more liberal attitudes about, like, sex relations. I'm like, kind of like, do it, make sure happy, do whatever, just don't get a disease. I'm not gonna lie, I don't properly understand people who are not attracted to women. I'm like, but have you seen them? They're so beautiful. I like, I have a vague memory of telling my older brother I don't have any recollection of telling my younger brother. I don't know if he knows. I think he does. He must do. I make a lot of jokes. I make a lot of jokes. That's how I get a lot of my like things out, is just through humour, being like, am I joking? No, I'm usually not joking. But I think the funniest thing was probably my dad. Like, I don't think I've ever like told my- I don't think I've ever to like, formally told my parents. Um, but like, and this is quite recently as well, mind you. We were in a restaurant, it was like my mum, my dad, and my godparents. And like, we had this waitress, and she was like, so good looking. And she was so nice, and she was really nice to me. But like, you know, and she's like, they're like, they're not just nice to you, like, they're really nice to you. Um, anyway, she was really good looking. <laughs> and like, she, like, my parents just loved her, she was really lovely. And like, at the end, my dad just goes like, Emma, chase after her, get her number, start a lesbian relationship with her. And I just like, start like, almost like breaking down in laughter, being like, you would not care if I came home with a girl unless she was ugly. And my dad just started laughing because he was like, yeah, it's true. And then this thing is like, and I always knew this as well, so it was just so nice to get like that kind of confirmation. It's like, my parents, and I know, and I know this, is like, would not care if I came home with a girl unless she was ugly. If she wasn't good looking, then they'd care. And I know for a fact that is like the same standard my siblings are held to, my brothers are held to, so like, Because, like, especially because it's like bisexuality, it's not because I'm like coming out as like, it's, it's like I'm only half coming out anyway because, you know, bisexuality is half of a thing, it's not an entire thing on its own, whatever. Um, I never felt the need to, and I still haven't. This is not a coming out video, this is a why I never came out video. I think the concept of coming out is something that, as people get much more accepting of the LGBT community, will be something that is almost less, like, almost, it doesn't need to happen. Because I feel like coming out is this big, scary, terrifying thing, the idea that you're stuck in a closet. It's so definitive, and I feel like it's something that should just be so blurred to the point where it does not exist. And indifference, when you tell people, like, I like girls, oh, I like boys too, great. Like, why should, like, especially because it's someone else, like, who cares? <laughs> Care? Who the fuck cares? I feel like for a long time I even avoided suspicion. <laughs> Let's call it suspicion. About my sexuality, people ask me like, are you a lesbian? And I'd be like, no, because I wasn't a lesbian. I'm not a lesbian, I'm bi. So people ask me like, are you straight? Then I would have gone, no. But nobody ever asked me that, you see. Because everyone was like, are you a lesbian? I'm like, no. If someone had followed it up with, are you straight? I would have also been there like, 
No. So again, it's this idea that like, but you can either be hetero or homosexual, but people like labels because you can feel at home in them. And I certainly feel at home in mine. It's just weird because like, I just, ne it never crossed my mind that you could like both, which really does show that we live in a very heteronormative society and we've got to just like be aware of that. That's why like visibility of other like sexualities and stuff is important. Everyone knows gay people exist. I feel like over the last few years, there's been a lot of more like trans like recognition stuff, but like there's still LGTB. We are the B. We are the B. Like, hello, we're still there. Like, I've, I'm feeling very underappreciative and I don't like it when I don't get attention. We know this, like, we're here. Hi. I think you'd be surprised. Like, a lot of people are bi. Like, a lot of them. If anybody ever tells me, like, they're 100% straight, I think they're lying. <laughs> I genuinely think they're lying. I'm like, but you're not, though. Like, no one's, like, 100% straight. Like, you're not, though. Especially because, like, people, when they do it, they almost do it, like, aggressively, but, like, I'm straight. And I'm like, okay, okay. I'm like, you're not, though. <laughs> people get so upset. It's really funny. <laughs> oh, does this just make me a dick? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Yeah, so this is my anti coming out. No, I'm not like, anti. Like, do whatever you think is gonna make you the most comfortable, or like, you know, whatever is whatever's gonna make your like life easiest. I think in the grand scheme of things, it shouldn't fucking it doesn't fucking matter. It shouldn't fucking matter. It doesn't have to be something defining about you if you don't want it to be. You can be whatever you want to be. Do whatever you, you do. You boo. You do you. Yeah, that's like why I never came out because I never needed to, and I just kind of thought it was stupid. Like. For me, not entirely the whole concept, but just for me, because so like I've always had a boyfriend. My parents wouldn't care, my family wouldn't care, my friends don't care, and anyone who does care is no friend of mine. <laughs> there was never a point to like formally come out, even to you guys, because as far as I'm aware, I, in my videos, like, I have mentioned it, and like I do crack jokes about it, so I'm like, also like if you're shocked, that would shock me. I've only had two negative experiences with it. And lo and behold, it happens to be because of boys. Because we all love boys. Boys are so great. They have cuties. Ew. My boyfriend at the time, my first boyfriend, um like this is when I was just like figuring things out and I was like sort of like in confidence that like, you tell people things to like try and figure it out. And I don't think I don't think he I don't know if I, I don't think he believed me. I think maybe he thought it was for attention or something like that or something like a label to stick on myself so I could feel special. But either way, he did not take it seriously. He did not respect that aspect of me to the point where, so I was kind of like sort of quietly going around and like mentioning to my friends being like, yeah, I think I might be this, I think I'm this. Then he decided to take it upon himself, kind, um, to tell a girl who was one of my best friends at the time to literally like out me to her in front of me like it was a fucking joke to him. Like, and I was like 15, like how, oh my God, he was like, he was such a cunt. And the problem is like, it's not that I care about the information, I just care that he did not respect me in any way, to the point where he thought it was funny, to the point where it was a joke to him. Like, how dare you do that? It is none of your fucking business. I trusted you with this information, which can make me vulnerable to certain people. Like, how dare you say it to someone like it is a joke? Like, who the fuck do you think you are? It still makes me very angry. Some people are just dicks. And then there's this other one as well, which again was a boy. Thank you. I'm saying boys are not men, by the way, and you can clearly tell why. I think I probably offhandedly mentioned it to this guy. This was while I was boarding and he was one of my like closest guy friends. So obviously I don't keep things from my friends. I don't see a need to. So, but then for some, for some god unknown reason, he took it upon himself to tell people in my house? Why? Why do you think this is your business? It just, it's, it's beyond me. To me, like, where people do or, not, do or do not know doesn't really matter to me. So then the idea that someone else would take that information and spread it around is beyond me. I cannot fave them why somebody would do that or find it interesting or find it it's this big juicy piece of gossip that loads of people fucking know because I've fucking told everyone because I don't care about it. I care that people don't respect the fact that it's none of their fucking business. Like, oh my god, go fuck yourself. It just made me so upset because I'm like, like, why is this, why, why do, it's beyond me. That person was like, they were trying to like make it a big deal, which is everything I'm so against. So it's like those two instances of people 
telling other people when they think it's their business when it's just not. It's just and like I am no longer in any kind of contact with either of us two people, so you know, like I said, if it matters to you, you don't matter to me. One thing I am really grateful for, and I don't think I've ever even I don't think it's even occurred to me really, was that um at that school a lot of guys quite a few guys there were very openly gay. Like they were just very openly like and you know, like some of them quite a few of them were my friends and like it was just so nice to see people who like really at that point just did not you know, they just didn't care and it helped give me the confidence to realise that no, it, it doesn't really matter. It's It just is. <sighs> I think that's a good place to leave this video. This is why I never came out. Yeah, it's just... Pfft. Who cares? But here's a little bit of bi visibility for you. Here is, if you didn't know, um, this is the bisexual flag. We have a flag to yeah, every sexuality has flags. If you leave a nasty comment your acts got no time for negativity but if you guys want to have positive discussions in the comments about it go ahead that's fine by me and i will moderate the term the moderate them naturally and if you want to ask me questions please by all means go ahead uh, if you would like also um, more videos talking about bisexuality in the future do let me know down below if you have any specific topics you want me to talk about go for it yeah i think that was everything like subscribe and all the jazz and i will see you guys soon God, I've been sat on my legs. I'm so sweaty. Oh my fucking god, I'm so sweaty. Oh my god, it's disgusting. You guys have no idea. It is disgusting. Ew.